Hi everyone, Julie here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to jump into Lumina Neo, which has had a little bit of an update. But what I thought I would do is I'm going to take this image, which is a little autumn leaf out in my front yard. Absolutely gorgeous. But I'm going to go through how to use presets how to apply a texture, where to find a texture, how to bring in your own texture, how to play with it and all the rest of it. So let's get started. So I have been making some gorgeous new presets. I've got this one which I've just made and it didn't save the name. So I'm just going to rename that and it's called Pink Blush. Now, how gorgeous is that? If you think it's a little too much, you can scale it down a little bit. It really is bringing out the shadows, the textures, the autumn tones. Love this pop of color. So that's the quick and easy part of the preset. Of course, you don't have to use a preset. You can jump into edit and you can edit it however you want. But I want to have a look at some layers. So let's jump over to layers and have a little look at what we've got. So I just hit the little plus and that will bring me into all my layers. Now I've already got a heap of layers brought in, but if you want to bring in layers and you can just hit see all, if you want to bring in a layer, click on the little plus and go to where you have them saved. So. I've got um, the Bokeh Texture Pack, which is actually free on my website, and I'll pop the link below. The other one that I put in is the Grunge Texture Pack, and this is from my Atmosphere Texture Pack, which has got some lighting effects and some beautiful grungy textures. So I'll put the link for that below as well. It's not free, but I've got it at a really good price. So I can add a couple of different textures from that. And I'll just click on it and open and it pops them up here. So what I'm going to do is I want to apply a texture. So I'm just going to click on it and it puts it over my image. However, my image is not the same size as my texture. So I'm going to go over to the image mapping properties and I'm going to hit either fill or stretch because it's a texture. It doesn't really matter too much. If I hit fit, it's just going to fit it to the image. So I'm going to hit stretch. You can also swap it left to right and flip it horizontal as well. The next we have is what? blend mode. So if you're used to using layers in Photoshop, this is going to feel very, very normal and natural. I'm going to use soft light in this particular instance. Any of the darker ones will darken it. Any of the lighten ones will lighten it. And the overlay and soft light just sort of give a little bit of texture without changing it too much. So that's overlay, that's soft light, screen, lighten color burn which is quite nice to multiply so you can play around with any of them um, you can use the hue color and the luminosity as well there's lots of different ones that you can use so i'm just going to use it on soft light now it's set as default at 50 percent i can come in as a hundred percent i can drop it down to 50 or less than that if I want to mask, I can come in with the brush or linear gradient. So if I don't want it on a particular area, so I need to hit the erase tool. And that means that that texture will not appear on the leaf. If I want to only have the texture in a particular area, I can paint it in. Switching back to the properties, so I can then play with if I want to do anything else to it, 
there's really not a lot more apart from masking the opacity and your blending mode that's pretty much it the next one that I want to so I want to put another one in so I'm going to hit plus and I'm going to go back to my layers or my images in my layers and I'm going to put a bokeh on there so I've got a couple of different ones that I can play with again it's just going to pop it on I will have to stretch it and then change the blend mode this time I might set it to screen again it's at 50% and I might drop it down to about 32 so if you then want to play around there's going to be no edits on the layers if you want to get back to your edit you will need to drop down to your base image and access your edits from there if you decide you don't like a layer or you want to take get rid of it if you click on the image right click you can either hide it or you can remove the layer it's pretty simple so if you want to add a different layer so I'm going to come back in and I'm going to add this too again it fits pretty well anyway I can then play around with different blend modes and so forth you can change the order that the layers appear in and you can do as many as you want you can keep adding and adding you can mask them in you can use different masks such as brushes linear gradients radial gradients etc so you can you'll also find your background removal and things like that in that layers properties as well that's pretty much it for layers if you click on the plus it will take you back to the layers panel and you can store a whole heap so I bought light leaks I've got stardust bokeh I've got sparklers I'm just move me out of the way so there's a whole heap more so anytime you want to introduce a new layer or a new texture that you can use so it doesn't have to be textures it can be light leaks you can add all sorts of things to it so click on the little plus go to wherever you've got them stored and just click on them so here's some more you can add them so you can come in and you can select one you can create another pack if you want to get just keep coming in and adding more and more and more I might just pop that one in as well because that's another one that I really like let's see what that one does let's stretch that because it's black with white essentially it's adding scratches and things like that so I don't like that one so much for this one so I'm going to leave it if you want to get more assets and of course you can go through and you can favorite the ones you like click on get more assets and it will take you to the marketplace so there's loads of different there's experimental overlays there's analog overlays there's textures there's backgrounds there's all sorts of things analog frames all sorts of things in there that are available for purchase so don't forget to hit that get more if you're looking to add to your click um, I'll put the links for mine that are available on my workshop below so that's it for adding textures and overlays in Luminar Neo hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching I will see you next time don't forget to like and subscribe and bye for now